What is up, everyone? This is Coach Austin coming to you from Hyper Strength and Conditioning here in San Jose, California. And I am bringing to you the first official episode of the Nerd Out and Workout Podcast. Cast, cast, cast. Yes. So happy new year, everyone. Uh, happy 2019. Hope everyone's having a fun or foolicious start to the new year. So for those of you who are kind of wondering what this podcast is about, or you kind of stumbled upon it, this is a workout. Oh, this is a workout. This is a podcast uh, that revolves around nerding out and working out fitness, fandom, and everything in between and all around it. Uh, this podcast has originated from the hyper strength and conditioning community called hashtag HSC squad. And we're going to be interviewing our members or coaches, get our guest coaching, uh, guest coaches from other coaches in the local area. And we're going to do our very best to eradicate gym intimidation, give you the tips and tricks and everything you need to know about getting stronger, whether it is through powerlifting, weightlifting, uh, conditioning where you want to improve your cardio do your first spartan race do your first half marathon your first 5k your first 1k out <laughs> your first couch to 5k turkey trot ultra marathon whatever you guys want to do if you are in the boat of not knowing how to navigate through the intimidating the gym intimidating world of the iron jungle or the fitness realm are you always, if you're the person who feels like they're always the underdog or kind of you're just super intimidated by everything and anything that's going on within fitness, uh, then this is the channel for you because we've been through it. The people who will be on this channel have been through it and we will guide you every step of the way to get you to where you want to be. And uh, we're gonna have fun with this channel. Uh, the more, the, the the really the the big point, the the essence of this podcast is to provide audible content for the listeners, for the audience, you guys and ladies, um, so you guys can to to truly enjoy the content. Um, you know, we we're rarely gonna touch on politics, if any. Um, I, I I really I'm just like indifferent with that. And what I want to provide is just. The cool stuff, the fun stuff that people would generally always try to like look up on their phones anyway. Like, <laughs> and again, like fandom and fitness definitely falls into that realm. But other things like traveling and and uh, random events that may go on in the local area, the latest trends and all that fun stuff. Um, but we're always trying. We're always gonna tie it down to nerding out and working out. And we just want to be a highlight in your busy life whatever it is and uh you know whether it be 20 minutes an episode 40 minutes 45 minutes an hour uh we just want to make sure that you leave this podcast smiling laughing and thinking in positive vibes yeah so <laughs> so we're very excited we are having a lot of episodes lined up um i should be able i sh they should be already listed out right now because we are currently uh, recording more episodes, more podcast episodes. We have a, um, we have an episode that, uh, that's, uh, that pits, uh, my hero academia versus dragon ball super or dragon ball Z. So we go back and forth with that. One of my, uh, staff members, Jesse, AKA cloud nine though, cloud nine though. Um, that's his, like, I think his gamer tag. Um, we're gonna, we, him and I kind of go back and forth, not arguing, but like go back and forth about my hero, why he's really diehard about my hero academia and why he thinks it's so much better than Dragon Ball Z super and Dragon Ball Z. And then during one of, during that podcast, I think I mentioned like how it may be even like it was, I just mentioned it, it was argued that it may be even better than Naruto. And one of my coaches was like gasp, like in the background, like, Oh, how dare you bastards. So 
So that's a cool episode to look forward to. Um, another episode is one of our members went to Japan, the land of anime, and he navigated and found uh, the uh, what was it? He found the uh, Gundam Unicorn Gundam, and he talked about that and the Disney Sea, and we went to Tokyo Disney and talked about that, and uh, it was really cool stuff. So you guys, when you want this podcast is all about just listen, just learning about new things, tips, tricks, like different places around the world. Um, and I'm just, it's like a, one of those like feel good podcasts, you know, and, and I'm really excited about it because there's a lot of positive and, 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 and new information out there, new skills that we all want to learn. And especially, especially in the fitness realm and in the fandom realm. And it's just cool. I just, I just, that's just how our gym has grown. Uh, we're, we're a gym located in San Jose, California. For those of you who are not local to the podcast or to have no idea who the hell we are. Um, <laughs> but our, that's how our squad has grown. And I'm sure in your own little gyms and in, in your own little, probably in your own little circles of friends, you guys have, you guys have like, uh, you know, like inside jokes where it's like, you know, something with fandom and something with fitness. I just, there just has to be like Hulk smashing. I mean, um, twerking with Deadpool on the mirror while you're, while your friends trying to do a, a video of him working out like come on come on so really cool uh coming up in 2019 also we're going to be going to comic-con comic-con 50 oh my god i'm so excited it's legit we're going there we're gonna do a few interviews uh i want to shout out to um uh to nerd strong and coach andrew over there they're from west hollywood so those guys i'm i don't know if they're gonna be there but um uh, Andrew, if you're listening to this, let's 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 sync up, man. Let's sync up and do a podcast together. Um, if you guys check out their podcast, I think it's called We Are Nerd Strong, and they're from West Hollywood. So yeah, I'm all about community, man. I'm all about community. I'm not about competition. Competition. I mean, competition is competition. It's always fun, but you know, it's all about you know when you when you work together, and and especially on this niche, like geek fit, nerd strong, nerd out workout. I mean, you, this is like an underserved niche. And the more people that I'm, we're, you know, we're, we're pushing the message of health and fitness to, to this, to this group that truly wants it, just doesn't know where to start the better, man. We are like, we're, I'm like, I want to, I want to like assemble the Avengers of the Avengers of this shit and just go to town. So yeah, so good stuff today. Today I'm going to be talking about the first inaugural podcast episode, um, we're going to be talking about gamifying fitness. I just want you guys to think about, you know, turning fitness into a video game. And people are like, oh, yeah, no, I, I thought about that. And uh, I'm like, no, 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 seriously, think about, change your mindset and think about turning your fitness journey, such a tag term, journey, but your fitness goal, your, your, your training methods, turn that into a video game. You know how it is when, especially with those who are super addicted to video games, you guys, you know what you're addicted to is that little opium hit that you get, um, opium hit, <laughs> um, that little like chemical boost, uh, in your head when you, when you gain a level, when you've accomplished something, it's a little hit. I really hope I'm saying this right. Um, <laughs> I think it's, I think it's an opium hit. I could be wrong. It could be a serotonin hit. Let me double check real quick. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I just took a quick pause and it's endorphins. It's endorphins. Um, it has, oh yeah, opiate has those properties of the feel good hormone. <laughs> the more, you know, but, um, uh, what was it? So you get that, you get the base, you basically get an injection of those feel good hormones of endorphins and all that stuff uh, that hit your brain and that hit your body and you feel good and it hits those receptors in your brain and it's just like a feel good thing and you want more of it and that's why video games can get really addicting as with other tasks well take that into fitness uh where you're going to experience and and at first it's frustrating that's the crazy part that's the crazy part. And video games, they're specifically designed for humans to get that early hit of success and achievement early on the game so you can stick to it. So you can ride it out and get to the higher levels. Because if, it, it's, if it's stupid hard to get from level zero to level one, 
then you're going to be like frustrated. It's really it's really likely you're going to get frustrated. You might give up. You don't want to give it a chance. Maybe you're just going to come to a conclusion that ah this sucks. I hate I hate this job or this job. I hate this uh this game and and in this game's stupid and I, I suck at this anyway, so I'm going to do another game cuz I'm ne- I'm never really good at it. And that's where from level zero to level one, that's where a lot of people just give up and fail. And that's why these video games, if you pay attention, video games make it super easy to go from level zero to level one to level two, all the way up to maybe even level 10. And then by that time, you're already addicted. Like you'll go a little bit further. You'll go the distance just to get the, the next hit of endorphins rushing through your brain. And I got I actually got this little concept from um, from Simon Sinek's book. Uh, so uh, what was it? Start with why? Uh, yeah, that book is pretty cool. So check that out. And uh, again, apologies for like mixing up all this stuff, but you guys kind of get where I'm going with this. Um, when you think about fitness, level zero to level one is going to be hard. You need to understand that. That's the main difference between working out in real life and playing real life video games. There is no easy way going from level zero to level one level zero to level one is pretty hard but the thing is once you get to level two and level three and level four it it gets easier and you just don't see it but that's the crazy part because everyone gives up between level zero and level one because they're just not good at something that they're new at you know it's funny yep people get really super frustrated when they're not good at something that they're totally new at And that's the defining difference of people who succeed and get to their goals and people who just fall by the wayside. I'll give you an example. Jumping rope. Jumping rope. Go out with your friends and jump rope and pay attention. Even if you suck at jumping rope, just acknowledge it and then just do it anyway. You know, but watch how people react when they jump rope. It's going to be really interesting. There's going to be a handful of people who are going to be like, oh, they just get it down. Like, they, they, they've been, they've been, you know, they were the kids from Jump Rope for Heart, you know, in elementary school when you were in, <laughs> you know, like, they were the ones who were always, like, skipping rope or whatever, doing double dutch. They were killing it. They were done. They're easy. Motor skills, easy. This is nothing. They're like, come on, guys, let's go. We could do another 20 minutes. I'm not even breaking a sweat. Do you know that jumping rope for 10 minutes is equal to running one mile? I love jumping rope. So it's like you got a handful of those guys and ladies. But then, then you have this core group of people who are just getting pissed off. They fucking hate jump rope. They, oh, they're hitting themselves. They're stumbling and it sucks. And it's like bullshit and they're cussing. And, and it's just like, they're not even, they can't even get three jumps in a row. It's really bad. And they keep tangling the rope. So this is the group. And if you're in that mindset, too, with fitness, where you just you just don't know how many reps, you keep getting the form wrong, no matter how many YouTube videos you watch, no matter, you know, what you do, you're like, it just gets super frustrating, and you're just, you just want to give up. Even if you're, like, maybe just one coaching cue or one correction away of getting the deadlift down or or getting that bettering the technique of your of your squat or your bench or your pull up or your lunge or you know I could go on and on and on you know maybe you just always get shin splints when you run maybe because you're wearing the wrong shoe but you don't know it or maybe you're running the wrong way but you don't know it and you've tried all the things that you've done you went to that running store and you've done their running consultation on the treadmill and you still buy the shoes that were like three hundred dollars but then like you, you buy the insoles but then you when you're running like you're, you're still getting like blisters <laughs> like you just you're getting fresh I get it. We get it. We, I, I know. But the worst thing you can do is stop adjusting. So for the people going back to that group who are getting frustrated with the jump rope, you know, it's really, really hard to get out of that mindset and to really observe what you're doing and see like, okay, this is going wrong. I need to adjust it this way. I need to adjust it this way. Uh, it's hard, but that's the mindset you guys get got to got to got to eh, got to get into, especially when you're trying to gamify fitness. Once you get into the mindset, once you acknowledge that, okay, I suck at this. This is totally new to me. You know, I get it. 
I got to go find people and, and ask them how to do this better. I got to go find people who are really good at this and teach and have them teach me whatever they want to teach me, whatever they can teach me. Some people will charge you, you know, like trainers, coaches, they'll charge you. Or But at the same time, there, there's coaches too who will just give you some free advice, basic advice to give you. Or people who've just been working out, they'll give you free advice. And again, you can watch all the YouTube videos, but nothing beats human interaction, right? Nothing beats human interaction. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, it's one thing to watch a video, even it's one thing to listen to a podcast. It's another thing to talk to someone and make eye to eye contact and actually communicate and develop a relationship and understand, you know, how they can actually help you through this, you know, this, this, this journey that you're on to, to better your fitness, you know, finding that, was it that in-game mentor or whatever? (laughs) Like, go, don't, don't go at it alone. Don't go at it alone. Take this. Um... But yeah, but yeah, so that's the key when you want to turn your, your, your fitness, uh, plan and, and your, your, you know, your working out days, you want to go from level zero to level one. And in order to do that in real life, when you're in the gym or you don't even have to be in the gym when you're training or you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to get strong is, is pay attention to what you're sucking at right now. That's frustrating you because Dude, tripling down on your strengths, of a, again, that's, a, that's another podcast because I love that too. I love that. Tripling down on your strengths and getting really, really good at something that you're really, really good at already. <coughs> like going from good to great. Ooh, it's another book that's good. Um, but before you can even do that, you got to learn the skill. And there's always that frustrating point of, you know, of, of, of trying to learn it. Okay? So going back to that simple jump rope. The people who start paying attention to what they're doing wrong, maybe they're jumping too high, maybe they're 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 jump rope, they're jump rope, uh, they're jump roping too fast, or they're they're hitting it, or they're 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 moving it too over their head, or whatever, or maybe the jump rope's just too long for them, and once they make that adjustment, there it's easy, it's a downhill. They don't just they just don't know, but if they gave up and be like this sucks, this isn't for me, and they just stop. Well, of course, of course, they're going to suck at it forever because they just they just don't continue to adapt and change and overcome. Um, But that that's the mindset you guys got to get into who if you feel that you're getting frustrated right now, if you're in a frustrating point in 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 your in your, um, you know, fitness life, your gym training life or even life in general. Um, But yeah, but once you get once you get past level one, oh, it'll be easier to get to level 10 level 20, level 30, level 40. So that's just brush. That's a scratching the surface of, of gamifying, um, the, the, you know, the gym world, the fitness and all that stuff. It's going from level zero to level one. And I'm, I'm holding off on talking more about the other things, like how to count leveling up, how to count experience points, because there's a great, there's, a, I'm bringing on another person on this podcast. His name is Jed. Um, uh, we call him Je- Jedi, Jed the Jedi, Jedi, and he is coming up with his own system of gamifying all of fitness. Um, this is where I kind of got the idea of opening the first episode with because we just had a great meeting yesterday, and he's totally on board. He signed up for like a year training um, in his like vlogging, and, and so he's gonna vlog all the training and his journey of leveling up in life and he's making a journal and it's called quest log it's awesome and um you know he's making the changes that he needs to make and um he has all of this laid out for you guys and when i'm gonna have him on an episode talking about turning you know actually gamifying fitness in real life and talking about experience points, how to count your leveling up, how to hold yourself accountable. What do you do during? What's your battle cry? What's your, you know, what's your adjustments that you need to make and all that stuff. And dex- how to increase dexterity and strength and power and all that fun stuff. And what's what's your mana? How much mana do you have at the end of the day? Are you, are you out <laughs> and, and you're just relying on physical work and true grit? And it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So. But that that's that's the kind of thing that uh, where we're gonna start providing here. If you want to learn more about us, just as a as a gym, um, we're going to be found at hscgym.com. hscgym.com. Find us on Instagram at hscgym. Uh, the show notes will be on the blog. 
So we'll have a so the show notes about upcoming episodes, all that fun stuff, kind of what I talked about, a little highlight of going from level zero to level one, because um, that's kind of where we're at right now. Now um, this is, was a great short but sweet podcast. So no matter where you are listening to this on on your commute, jogging, walking, just sitting there petting your dog, cat, gerbil, or hedgehog. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this um, series that we're going to be launching in 2019. This is Coach Austin from Hyper Strength and Conditioning from San Jose, California, brought to you by the Nerd Out and Workout Podcast. Cast, cast. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.